Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can change your carrier name into a logo like I've got mine at the top which is a Batman thing uh, it's called Zeppelin so I'm going to show you how you can do it as you can see I've got um, the carrier name at the top and to change it we head up into Cydia uh, open up Cydia and we need to search for Zeppelin once it loads up so Z -E, Zeppelin so once you uh, type that in you will have one of this press install and then once it loads, press confirm then once it loads afterwards then you just need to restart your springboard once your springboard has restarted as you can see at the top you have got your batman logo on there and if you unlock your device and head up into settings scroll down and you will find Zeppelin go on that and it says Batman on there and you can change it to whichever uh, logo that you want on there and you have all of these to choose from you can also go on edit and you can hide the ones that you don't want select them and then press done and they will disappear from there and to get them back just go on edit and then remove them from there you can also add more zeppelins uh, from the Cydia. So open it up. Wait for Cydia to load. Go on selections and scroll down to where it says add on zeppelins. And you have a range of all of these zeppelins that you can choose from. So I'm just going to choose a random one from here and see if there's one from the uh, see a screenshot of it. And then these will once you uh, download this and you this will appear in your settings and you can choose it from there. And you have a uh, lots of different varieties of zeppelins that you can add on. So let's look at another one. And screenshot so you can choose from any of these and that is how you get Zeppelin uh, on your iPhone if you don't want uh, Zeppelin on your phone you can always head up back into Syria and you can uh, wait for a Syria to load you can go and manage and go on uh, packages these are all the things that you have installed go down to Zeppelin press modify and then press remove from there and then press confirm and then you'll have to restart your springboard and it will be removed from your iPhone uh, thank you guys for watching uh, if you have any questions please ask on the comments uh, down below and I will get back to them as soon as I can and thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys.